Welcome back to another video, my lovely souls. Look, check this out, you guys. Somebody is in denial, either yourself or someone else. Someone is in denial about something in their life. Somebody doesn't want to feel something because it's uh, painful to feel. So I pulled a card for the collective consciousness and I tapped in deeper into this denial. So here's the card and bear with me, you guys, as I actually read out what this means. As you can see on the card, it is saying, I acknowledge my fears I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness, which is what we're doing today. We are tapping into the awareness of this denial. So if you are, if this is you, you'll be aware of it because this message will actually resonate to you. Maybe you've been feeling like you're in denial over something, or you may have someone who's been feeling like they in denial, like you can feel that energy from them, but you clicked on this video for a reason. So I want to go deeper into the message right here by reading my book. Okay. So here's the card denial. And what it's telling you is it is time to open up and be completely honest with yourself at this present moment. Buried fears and resentments do not die. They merely fester and cause dis-ease. Only by bringing them to the surface and examine them in the light of day with love and compassion will you banish them for life, from your life. It may bring you pain and heartache to reflect upon these situations again, but you are only given them power by suppressing them. The dangerous seeds of denial will grow and spread and manifest unless you uproot them, examine them, and release them. This is the only way to become whole and healthy. Learn not to bury painful emotions in the first place. Deal with them as they come and take all the time you need to neutralize them without hiding them. Your soul wants to live honestly, honestly and authentically in the now. Don't hinder it by placing emotional landmines on its path. So you guys, that's a very powerful message you got to, to you guys who this denial resonates to. So this is you who is in denial, my friends. Look at what it is that's causing you to be in denial so you can understand it. Feel it and release it and let it go uprooted up out of your life. Because what it's mentioning is that it will cause diseases in your body. Disease. What does that spell? Disease. Disease in your body. When things are not taken care of, they will manifest into the physical body. Your mind creates things and it will manifest into your physical body. And I'm not a doctor, but that's why sometimes... Uh, a lot of the diseases that people have in their body was created from their mind, from stress, fear, worries, anxiety, denial, whatever the case is that you've been uh, focusing on for so long, whatever that is that you've been suppressing, shall I say, because suppressing le suppression leads to depression, you guys. So whatever you don't look at will manifest into your body. So whatever you decide to not look at, to bury and to not look at will manifest as a disease in your body. So if you are someone that is in denial, let it go take a look at it feel it even though it's painful because feeling it allows you not to be numb it allows you to feel even though it doesn't feel good so whatever it is you hiding in your body that you don't want to look at that you've buried of something you've experienced in your life look at that today baby because it's time to uproot it and let it go because we are in the letting go season and this is not a good energy to keep inside of your body my friends so i hope this message resonates to whoever needed this message if you feel that you're in denial, this message is for you, my friends. I love each and every one. If you like this video, please hit that like button, my friends, so we can get this video out through more souls out there who may need to connect this message of denial because this is a powerful message and it's very important and it needs to be taken care of, my friends. Y'all already know I love y'all. I'm just here spreading awareness, love, and light, baby. Miss Kelly travels spiritually up in here. Hey, y'all come back to see me. Take care of yourself and take care of what needs to be looked at and what needs to be taken care of. It's best for you, my friends, and it's your choice. I love y'all, man. Come back to see me. Peace.